I've sunk an enemy destroyer. Hey team, this is Ripper here. Hope you guys are doing fantastic today. Got a really, really fun video with the Sean Horse 43 and basically uh, damn the torpedoes full speed ahead. And then if you can't do it, I'll do it myself. Um, you know, me working with uh, in the military, we've always said, hey, um, you know, don't worry about it. We'll do it ourselves because uh, we have always asked, uh, you know, a lot of, uh, yeah, I would say, uh, support from other, I uh, would say, other players in the area. And uh, man, sometimes when you don't get them, sometimes we just say, you know what, we'll do it ourselves. Anyways, um, this is a great video, but uh, to, just to showcase off the 43, I think this is the new meta right now. Before we get in, like, subscribe, bell button below. If you see any value, you got, got out of the channel, like it, and um, put a comment below or whatever to help us get to uh, 4,000 subs, our next goal, and we'll do another premium giveaway at that. So let's get to it. Before, again, you can skip over this part. Uh, me, This is just showing initial positioning, but I always like to talk about a little history of it and um, about the Sharn Horse 43. I think it was, a, this is, there's a Sharn Horse and a Sharn Horse 43, so there are two different versions of it. Sharn Horse 43 uh, TLDR basically is more s suitable for brawling and close quarter engagement, secondary fun build, and I think it is more uh, kind of given away or more of a premium kind of style giveaway while the other Sharn Horse was another event. I mean, you guys look up the history. I, I just got it, and it was uh, about a, less than a year ago, and, and it's really awesome. Let's talk about the little history of the ship. The lead ship in a series of two battleships designed for raiding operations entered service a few months before the outbreak of World War II. Sharn Horse conducted her first battle raid in November 1939. It was followed by support for a landing in Norway, a raid into the Atlantic Ocean, and a breakthrough across the English Channel. In 1943, the ship was transferred to Norway to attack enemy Arctic convoys. On December 26, 1943, Sharn Horse flying Rear Admiral Eric Bay's flag was sunk in battle by an Allied squadron off North Cape. Sharn Horse 43 was first released on the 6th of December 2023. So fairly recently, as a reward for the 10th stage of the Holiday Inn Santa Cities event. That's what it was. It was a, a uh, Santa event. So I definitely, we definitely, everybody recommended it. And I can, you watch this video and you can see, understand why. So what is the, the power of this thing? This thing literally is, it's so kind of, I would say tanky and armored. And you just go in there, guns blazing, blasting it. And you're going to see that in this video and how I, you do it. Now, I'm not saying it's going to work in every situation, but with proper positioning, proper management of consumables, proper health, you can really do some incredible, incredible damage and some fun, fun, and making World of Warships fun again. It is literally this fun. This is why I played it. This is why I enjoyed it. And you're going to just see that some of this display, you guys should try out yourselves, make videos like this where you go in there, you find little techniques and procedures and tactics that really just make this thing enjoyable. So I'm rushing. I have no um, hydro right now. I'm rushing smoke which is really uh, frowned upon but you know i knew this cruiser and uh, destroyer here and i just wanted to push the advantage because i saw how powerful this thing is akazuki now look here's attacker here he's gonna launch torpedoes so why don't you slam on the brakes like i'm doing right now wait for the torpedoes he's got to reload and then accelerate again it's that simple legion there they are there's the torpedoes so we are going to see if we can bully this boys i think he wants to try to ram us but with i look at his helpful 19,000 to my 55 I think I can take a little bit of damage of this, so he's probably not going to ram destroy me, so I'm going to damage con these fires and take as much heals as possible to hold it down, and boom, take him down, he goes down. First splash of the day. Splash one, die hard right there, and we have our, our uh, debt flag, of course, our uh, ramming flag, and 22,000 HP left. Ooh, we got another Sean Horse. I thought I was going to die right here, but you know, so I basically said, let's point my ship to the... Um, Oh, actually, I have a destroyer right there, and using secondaries, lock on him, and boom, that is a power shot horse right there. Great, great secondaries. I launched my torpedoes, and I'm going to use this island for cover. Now, he's turning away knowing the torpedoes are there. Again, torpedoes are great as a good deterrent as well. If he can see him coming, and then he's going to steer the ship away, move that ship in a poor position, so he's going around the island giving me cover, and I also avoid his torpedoes as well, because I knew 
that was going to happen. I mean, we're identical, right? So I know that he's got torpedoes. I've got torpedoes. We're all going to do a torpedo run. Now, I'm using this it's this opportunity right here to uh, heal up and just damage con, just, just control the situation right here. Just calm everything down, slow it down for one second. Look where my team's at right now. But, I mean, come on. What is this going on right here? Look, I literally went in and eliminated two guys. These guys are sitting over in the island. And I said, you know what? If you guys aren't going to help me, and I'm not going to even say this in chat, let me do it myself. I'll figure this out, okay? So I'm going to have all my guns facing where this destroyer is going to be. Again, my destroyer is in the back right here, which is great. He captain, but you should go support your battleship, okay? Um, just like I'm going to go support destroyer, I'm going to support the destroyer right now by destroying another destroyer right here. And this thing excels. So I'm going to put a preemptive torps. He probably will see it. And then he's probably going to... Uh, literally uh try to avoid by dodging but the seconders on this thing melt everything now let me pause the video right here look at what i've got on the build of the show you'll see the build at the end of the screen by the way i've got this um manual secondaries which improves secondaries um as the the time progresses which you can get up even higher when the priority target is changed 80 percent. okay that's not it so it's what it's saying is that middle section says when priority target is changed 80 percent of the accumulated accuracy is preserved so it goes down 20 percent but when you select the priority target, if you don't know, over time at the bottom there you see it's 26%, it eventually increases, I believe, up to 50%, even better. So we'll, we'll take a look at that longer it is. Um, but the other one is we have this uh, close quarters combat, which reduces your main battery reload, which is great on this ship, by the way. You can see that the reload is pretty phenomenal for a battleship. Um, if you have somebody uh, with is spotted with your secondary within secondary firing range, which is good because my he's definitely within secondary range. So we got a reload boost on our main guns. We have a manual secondaries being increased over time as long as the target is selected. And of course, another 10% when you're getting a fire. So I have a fire here. I don't damage con one fire. That's a good technique if you want to learn about it. I don't damage con one fire. Normally at two fires, I'll damage con that one. Uh, but right now we're at red. So I would probably almost damage con if we get even lower below 10th K. So that's kind of the technique and strategy there. You guys let me know what you guys do. That's something I do uh, just to reduce. And I just learn from other YouTubers as well. But okay, let's take a look at this. Do we get this share of So you, I can't pronounce that. Anyway, forgive me. And there's two fires right there. Uh, and then boom. He goes, I'll damage con that right there. Main guns, really, really great. So we got 18 second reload on the main battery guns. Pretty, pretty darn fantastic. We've taken out three guys right now, 55,000. Oh, and somebody else wants to come and play. So why not? Let's go ahead and take the fight to enemy because the rest of my team is non existent. Akazuki's taken down by torpedoes. My gosh. Again, damn the torpedoes full speed ahead. You know, that's what we're going to do. That was a famous quote I had to learn in the military uh, academy. So, uh, yeah, that was a, a quote we had to literally drill in our brain. It was just so funny to say that over and over again. But anyways, here we go. 30 seconds to cast. So I'm going to not only kill the ships. I'm going to go cap the, the spot. I'm going to go ahead and spot this uh, ship for you guys as well. So I'll, I'm literally a destroyer. I'm doing everything. I'll go ahead and go ahead. Take the fight to the enemy. I'll spot. I'll cap. I'll do it. <laughs> and I'm just like, you know what? I just don't even bother asking for help at this point. Because people just don't know what they're doing at, at this low rank of uh, uh, brawls. Or, uh, sorry, ranked. I'm not going to fire because if I fire, in the, I'm using the smoke screen to hold as much as I can from getting shot at. So because if I look, if I don't fire, my main battery guns are not going to reveal my, my smoke position because there's a smoke firing penalty, right? Look that up. Look what that, that is, what that is about. But right now we're going to sneak behind this island to preserve as much health as we can. You got to know when to pick and choose your battles right here because this Sean Horse Bravo, I don't want to mess with him, okay? Yeah, that is something that you want to deal with. He's got more health than I do. I'm just going to sit here and wait and kind of analyze the situation and go, hey, what's the best usage of my ship right now which is alpha i can take on the jervis which is capping alpha let me see what i can do right here so i'll, I'll hit the island right here kind of tactical beaching okay i was up i was planned right guys yeah yeah anyways i got he's within secondary range so we got this main battery uh reload time of minus 10 percent, which is good so he's well within being spotted we got the torpedoes ready to go this is awesome he's gonna hopefully drive right into them so we'll keep that there and then we'll go ahead and go forward uh, because we don't want to take the full... Actually, hold on. Let me see. Ooh, we might have a nice broadside shot here. Okay. Man, full AP right into us. Ooh, there it is. 15,000 damage. And we take the kill. Boom. There it is. Splash 4, ladies and gentlemen. Go ahead and take that kill as well. Splash 4. Can you believe that? Um, literally, I killed everybody so far on the team of the enemy team. And where's my team at? I don't know. They're trying to somehow catch up and figure out what's going on. Where did who go? You know, kind of funny Top Gun mantra there. Anyways, 75,000 damage in 12 minutes, 52 seconds left remaining in the game. We are still technically losing. Or actually, forgive me. Replay system is kind of back and they need to update this. But basically, it's flipped. The 544 is our points. Their team has 382. So, uh, yeah, that, the war game needs to fix that. So let's speed it up right here. We're going to go around the corner and take the Jervis out. I don't care about the Florida. I have, I, at this point, if I die, whatever. Here it is. 
Jervis in full secondary range right now, and we have to switch back and forth. We got to angle against the Florida, making sure we don't get broadside. But we also have to make sure Jervis's torpedoes don't hit us. So we're going to angle into him as well. So we're literally using doing two things at once right here. It's a very good situ very uh, good situational awareness thing to know. Finally, way to go, Florida taking out the lion. Somebody finally showed up on our team. So you look at left and right, left and right. You're always, you know, always looking back and forth. You got a threat on the Florida. You don't want to take a full broadside him. He's turning in. So we, we are going to focus on the torpedoes of the Jervis. Those hurt us more. Look at the heels. The heels actually brought us back from 26, 000, from low, like 11,000 ish to 26,000. Pretty darn good. I'm just blind frying where I can see the, um, the, 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 the fires coming from the smoke. It doesn't hurt to just shoot. We do get a fire on the floor, I believe. Oh, and here it is. Full broadside. Here is Jervis. And boom, there's Kraken. Confederate all at once. 89,000 damage. We take out five team members right there. And now it's our time to just clean up and mop up the floor. But my gosh, the, the Sharnors for the threes. I think this is the new meta for current rank season. Well, I've seen so many Sean Horse played right now because it is so good at brawling. It's so good at close quarters. Small little maps like this are it's just it just loves it. It just mops it up and eats it. Very difficult to kill Sean Horse. I mean, nice armor without focus firing. One on one, it is absolutely devastating. Even with the the uh, the torpedoes and everything, very very powerful. And it's it so much fun. I'm telling you, Wiles is fun again. So this is the kind of sh the, the games and matches you want to see where you're just brawling, having fun, close quarters. You're not driving all over the map. People are running in the back of the map. It's really just go in, brawl, small maps, and it's just so enjoyable. But look at that right there. Look at all these awards right here. Taking Confederate. We had that diehard moment where we just ram somebody to survive. We got the close quarters. We got the dreadnought receiving oh, so much damage. Of course, we got the Kraken. And of course, high caliber damaging more than four ships, causing 30%. So, so fun. Look at the secondary. 154 secondary hits. I mean, that means your ship's working, right? We're also capturing points. You get a lot of points for that as well. And it, that, I mean, nobody realizes, but capturing points gives you a lot of points for a lot of bonuses if you put modifiers. I didn't put any flags or anything for these bonus modifiers. They just come with it. And uh, just look at that. Number one in the team, of course, doing like double damage of everybody else. Where's the rest of my team right there? Anyways, um, look at all this look at the kind of damage you're providing the secondaries my god the secondaries are powerful especially if you build for ifhe you're doing some significant hella damage Thirty-four thousand uh aircraft there were airplanes in this thing oh my gosh oh yeah spotter planes probably anyways a lot a lot of damage they're taking out five of their teams right there let's see here we took out one two three destroyers were we the destroyer killer we were we were the destroyer hunter killer this game including taking on another sean horse as well but my goodness guys i totally recommend the sean horse uh sean horse or sean horse 43 very very fun very powerful very enjoyable hope you guys like the video let me know in the comments below as always hope you guys are doing well if you see me out there say hi and uh, just uh, and hope you guys are always being safe and uh, be well. And you can't thank you guys enough. Like, subscribe, bubble, and below. Appreciate all the channel support. And uh, we'll see you guys next time for another video. Cheers.